and welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm basically gonna be showing you guys something so as you all might know uh, I have a Mac and you know Macs are not good for gaming which is why I'm trying to get a gaming PC but that's in the near future but I want to make this video to kind of show people who have Macs how to get the best FPS because for me I had a 2007 Mac and then I got a 2014 Mac Mini and Playing Minecraft on Macs throughout those many years has kind of taught me a lot on how to get the best frames. Especially when you're PvPing in Minecraft, you need the most frames. You know, it helps you the most. You know, uh, like, it's it's easier to PvP on 100 frames than it is 30. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go over a few things that I use to basically get better FPS. Or a few things that I do, rather. Not that I use. Uh, just things that I actually do to get better FPS on a Mac. And they're all things you can do either downloading things to add to the game or just on your Mac itself. So the first thing I want to start off with is you see at the bottom here, uh, here is my dock and as you can see there's a bunch of things on here and this is a really simple thing that people don't realize that they just they just don't realize to do okay. So what you want to do is you want to close out anything you're not using. You know I'm using QuickTime to record this so I need that open. Um, I have iTunes, I wouldn't really need that open, but I keep it up anyways, and I have Skype open, and I wouldn't really need that open, but, you know, I use it for different things, so, pretty much, like, if you want to close a bunch of things and just keep Minecraft open, you can get really good FPS that way. The second way is getting something called Optifine. If I go into my video settings here, there is a lot more video settings than in normal Minecraft, and these can change things on your F3 as well. So, for example, things like VBOs. I don't think that's in regular Minecraft, I think it's only in Optifine. Turn this on. I don't know what about this that gets such amazing frames. Just turn this on and turn alternate blocks off. Okay, these two things will boost your FPS a ton. Or will give you really stable frames. Um, I'm just not going to explain everything. I'm just going to allow you guys to see my settings here. So these are like what I'm at right now. Also, render distance is a big thing, but everybody knows about lowering render distance. Um, but yeah, this is basically kind of like my Optifine settings. I'll just kind of go through it. Uh, kind of what I have on and what I have off. All that sort of stuff. Uh, so you can pause the video if you want to see everything. Uh, but yeah, this is basically all what I have on. Which is uh, probably the best settings for Optifine for a Mac. Alright, so the next thing is texture packs. Now... Texture packs like I have right now, I'm using Advisor's Overlay and this gets me basically uh, better frames because it's more or less like one texture, like like 8x8 eight eight sort of blocks and it basically gives you a ton more frames um, because it's it's just turned the blocks from, say using a pack that is like uh, 64 or 128x, alright? This can basically just make the blocks not 128x or 64x, and it basically gives you a ton more frames. Now, I know my frames are pretty low right now because I'm using QuickTime to record this, but using this method, I used to be getting 30 to 40 frames with QuickTime, and now you can see my frames, depending on where I'm looking, is upwards between 100 and some odd. So, this, you can tell that all my methods here are actually working. But yeah, using like an overlay like this to get better uh, better blocks will really help your FPS. Also using 16x packs. Right now I'm using Rilly's purple pack or whatever. I don't know exactly the name of it. I think it's 45k purple edit. And it's a 16x pack and this can give you a lot more frames than using a 128x. Alright, so here's the next thing. As you can see, I'm in my Minecraft launcher. Now... With this, as you can see here, I have JVM Arguments. Now, this thing is a pretty well-known feature that a lot of people use, especially in versions past 1.7. Because in 1.8 and above, you seem to run out of memory really, really, really quickly. <laughs> now, what I use to combat this is I change this, and you can change it to how many like gigabytes of RAM you want. Now, this changes like like the, your RAM. So, say for example, you have 4 gigabytes of RAM. Change that to about 3. If you have 8, change it to 7. Okay, don't change it to all 8 because that'll make everything else run extremely slow. Now, if things are still running slow, go down by half. I know all the tutorials say only go up by like half of your RAM, but you can really go up to about like 90% of it. Like, it doesn't really change much on a Mac. Um, I don't know about PC, but I know for Mac it does not change much. So you can always change that to give you, give you some more FPS and also make your game a lot smoother and you won't run out of memory. 
All right, so this is the final thing that I want to show you guys to get you best FPS on a Mac, okay? No tutorial I've ever seen has ever mentioned this, and it's pretty crazy because I found it out myself, and it has helped me a ton with getting better frames. So what you want to do is you want to open up your system preferences, and you want to go to displays, okay? And you want to go to resolution, press scaled, and press 720p. Now you might be thinking, oh, 720p, it'll look terrible. When you're playing Minecraft, it's not really noticeable after the first 10 minutes, okay? It really isn't. <laughs> it's not noticeable, like, at all. So, pretty much, just change it to 720p. I can guarantee you will get double, almost sometimes maybe triple the frames you usually get on 1080p. It has worked wonders, and no other tutorial has ever shown this. So this is the main way that I have gained a ton of frames. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe and do all the methods that I showed for getting FPS because I guarantee you will get double, maybe triple the frames um, using especially the 720p method. It will, and You'll be surprised on how much frames you can get. But yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, and have a great day.